Hello, I'm Tim Krull. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. Hope you're all doing well um, in these very weird times. In today's video, just gonna be doing a little bit of a news update in and around Norwich City. Gonna be talking about three things in this video. Um, firstly, around Max Aarons. Secondly, around the situation um, with fans and obviously fans now not being able to attend um, under the latest government announcements. And also some of the new Norris City signings who have left on loan and some very, very strange ones like that. So it's going to be a little bit of a news update. I'd love to hear your thoughts all around these three topics. And yeah, stay well. Eat something you want to eat, drink something you want to drink, and just have a good, good time. Um, let's firstly talk about the Max Aaron situation. Now, it came out just before the Preston game. Um, came out in lots of new, news articles. Norris City had rejected an offer from Barcelona to take Max Aaron's. And similar to the situation around Jamal Lewis to Liverpool, there was quite a lot of outrage, quite a lot of big pundits saying how Norris City were denying Max Aaron's this dream move and, and all, all, all that crap, pretty much. Um, we had it with Jamal Lewis, we're having it with Max Aarons, and I just wanted to give my take on the Max Aarons to Barcelona situation, um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Firstly, the fact that um, people are coming out and saying Norwich are denying him the dream move, I think is um, quite disrespectful. You've got to remember Norwich City have given Max Aarons a lot, um, developed his career, and um, you know we've seen a lot of players who are very settled at clubs, very happy, go on to go on to bigger clubs and, and not do very well and then their whole career kind of breaks down. Um, so, so many players that, that that's an example of and you'd hate to see it happen to someone like Max Aaron. So we're not denying him a dream move. Um, and secondly, you've got to look at the offer Barcelona have made. Barcelona have made a loan offer for Max Aaron's and there's no option at the end of the deal to buy. So for all we know, we could be loaning Max Aaron's out to Barcelona away, sits on the bench, not even on the bench, maybe sits on the reserve team, doesn't get any game time, doesn't learn from his experience in Spain and that damages his career. Um, I could understand maybe if Barcelona offered a deal with an option to buy or you know maybe spent 25 to 30 million pounds, but I just think the deal is a little bit insulting. It's not something which is going to, I don't really think, advance Max Aarons. And for me, the fact that Norris City are denying him the dream move is a load of rubbish. I think Max Aarons is very settled here. Of course, going to somewhere like Barcelona would be, the, would be incredible for him and would be a fantastic opportunity. But look, the offers, just like Jamal Lewis, the offers have got to be good and the offers have got to be respectable. And when you're offering a loan deal, when you're offering £8 million to Jamal Lewis, that's simply not good enough. And Norwich City have got to stand firm. And that's a testament to Norwich and you know the situation where a few years ago where we'd have to accept these deals. Now we're in a financial place where we don't have to. Um, so that's kind of my take on the situation. You know, Max Aarons is a brilliant and, and talented footballer who, who will go on to do big things. But Norwich City have, have developed him and it's in, it's in their interest and Max Aarons' interest to make sure he has the best possible move. And, and going to Barcelona on a, a year deal um, with, with, with potentially he's not even going to play much, um, with no option to buy, just seems a little silly to me. And the fact we're denying him the dream move is a load of old nonsense, in my opinion. But I wish Max Aaron's well. Um, of course, against Huddersfield and, and Preston, I thought we both had but both put in you know, good, good performances in those games. And Max Aaron's is going to be a key player if he stays at Norwich. And, the virus is kind of, in a, in a way, you know, you would have expected the likes of Campwell and Aarons and Buendia and Ben Godfrey all to go kind of before the season starts. But because of the virus and because teams are a bit more reluctant to spend, um, that means perhaps perhaps we could keep some of these players um, and then go up and, and, and try and go up fighting this season. Um, but that's my situation on, on the Max Aarons um, kind of transfer saga, if you were. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Secondly, let's go on to talk about fans under the government announcements. Um, fans were going to be fans were intended to come back in in October. Now that's not going to be happening. Those plans have been scrapped, and football is going to be played behind closed doors. Norris City had 1,000 fans against Preston, which was absolutely brilliant. I think it made such a difference to the viewing experience, even hearing a thousand fans. Um, and as, as far as I'm aware, the test situation went well. There had only had one stand open, which was the South Stand, and. Even that what that wasn't filled, kind of the, the highest part of the south stand, all the seats were empty, it was only kind of the lower south stand. And at, at times, to be fair, it did look like that some of the fans weren't even socially distancing. But as far, as far as I'm aware, the testing situation went well. And look, if you can have 1,000s come in and it's successful, you could easily have 2,000s in the south stand and, you know, reopen the upper bit, kind of the higher bit of the stand. And then you could open the other stands like the Bark, be like the Norwich and Peterborough and, and maybe get up to five, 6,000 fans in, in which is socially distanced. But obviously that's not going to be the case and I think that is slightly disappointing. I understand, you know, I don't want to get too political, but I understand you've got to 
that the government guidelines are really important, but I do think you can have fans in the stadium socially distanced and, and, and not have a spread. I mean, there's only 11 cases in Norwich at the moment, so I understand why it's done, but if the test situation went well with a 1,000 fans, I can't see why, why that can't continue in this current climate. Um, and look, this is a much bigger debate. Norwich City, I think, lost £1.5 million per match day um, after COVID. Um, and obviously, they're going to be losing a lot of money with fans not being able to attend games. Look at the, Nor uh, the National League um, and all the conference. The conference hasn't started yet. It was going to plan to start in October when fans could attend. Now they're talking about scrapping the league because simply clubs will not be able to survive without fans attending. And that's a real shame because not only are you going to lose clubs, you're going to lose lots of jobs. And that's a real sad situation. I think you've got to have a right distance between obviously socially distancing and, and trying to bring fans in, fans in safely. And if you can bring in fans safely, that's great. So for me, I'm a little bit disappointed that fans won't be able to attend. Of, of course, it makes a better viewing experience, but I think if it can be done well then, and can be done safely, then it should. And it's going to be sad to see a lot of you know clubs in the conference, even League Two, maybe even League One clubs potentially go under without fans. And let's hope it doesn't um, hit Norwich City too hard financially. And finally, Let's move on to some also very, very interesting news. Norwich City's new signings in January, Sam McCallum, Melvin City and Daniel Sinani, one who was absolutely buzzing to see, won't be playing at Norwich City next season. Melvin City's gone out to lo on loan in Belgium, as has Daniel Sinani to the same club, and Sam McCallum's gone to Coventry um, on a season-long loan. I can understand Melvin City. I mean, there's three central defensive midfielders already at the club in Sorensen. Um, obviously, you've still got Tribal on the books as well, Sorensen, Tetty and Oliver Skip. But the other two seem very strange. Sam McCallum um, is our... We've only, got two, we've only had two left-backs in McCallum and um, Quintilla after Jamal Lewis left. And now Sam McCallum's gone on loan. I mean, what on earth happens if Quintilla pulls his hamstring or gets an ACL at, at Bournemouth on Sunday? I mean, that would be absolutely disastrous. Isn't it? And, you know, I think Norris City need at least two players in every position. So... Sam McCallum going was a very strange one to me. I mean, I guess you could play Max Ahrens on left back, could maybe play Bally Mumba, although let's be fair, Bally Mumba hasn't really played much league games. Could maybe play someone like Ben Gibson there, but for me, it seems just a very strange deal. Um, but let's hope he does well. Um, Melvin City, I completely understand. I think he can do really well in Belgium and um, you know get, get more first-team football under his belt. But Daniel Sonali, another very strange one. Um, like a player who did absolutely brilliant in Europe, scored lots of goals in the Europa League. Of course, playing in the Luxembourg League, it's not a very competitive league, and maybe he does need that experience in a higher league, although I'm not necessarily sure Belgium's top league might do it for him. But it just seemed a very strange deal because Daniel Sonali, I think, has got a player with a lot of potential, and I'm very sad to see him go on loan, actually. I mean, I know we've got a lot of players in that situation. You've got the wingers, Josh Martin, Hernandez, Plaqueta, and Buendia. And in Cam, I guess you've got Cantwell there. Kieran Dow there, Marco Superman there. So we've probably got enough players there. But I think Daniel Sonali was really a youngster who could have really broke through it and made such a difference for Norris. So it's a shame to see him go um, after the impact he had in Luxembourg, but more importantly, Europe. Um, and yeah, there are my thoughts, really. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Max Aaron situation. I think Norris City are right not to kind of just give in to Barcelona's demands. And it just shows how well Norris City have done as a club. Um, the fan situation, I think, is a little disappointing, and some of the loan, some of the new signings who have gone out on loan, I'm a bit disappointed by them as well. But that is the latest Norris City news. I'd love to hear your thoughts, as I said, down below in the comment section as we gear up to a big game on Sunday against Bournemouth. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.